That was good. He, he got corrected for approaching the guy and then he disengaged. That kind of stuff. A little stuff to start. Going after a squirrel. I seen the squirrel, but I didn't think he's seen it. I thought it was gone. Let's see what he does oh, to this man. car. But I was kind of expecting a charge, but not that fast. What you want to do with a dog like this? If you're really doing it right, you want to bring them out and let them free of command and just make all the boo-boos, day after day after day, until they're no longer making the boo-boos, like going after cars, going after squirrels, reacting to dogs, until they're no longer doing that stuff. And then they don't have the desire to do it. They don't know what to do. Then we start introducing heel. So we're letting them make mistakes. Then towards the end of the session, we're gonna start doing heel. So it tires them out, but it also gets all the corrections in for the things he's not supposed to do, which is learning experience for him that that will infer how he behaves tomorrow the next time he's in the situation so it's it works very well genius now this is definitely not easy because you know we're we're out in the real world now this isn't my backyard so anything can happen and sometimes random things do happen dogs pop around the corner i don't see coming so you got to be vigilant and probably have more than one person with you you know, or at least have one person with you. It'll help. He doesn't see him. We're gonna head this way. Okay? Hi. Hi. Tighten the loose There you go. And good choice. See, that's why we do it to see what choice he's gonna make. Because he's allowed to make whatever choice, but the charge will get corrected. And then the disengagement gets rewarded, so. I'm surprised he what didn't, to be honest with he you. He didn't because he just charged the car. That's right. Come on, come on. Tell him not to go on there. It's not our property. Okay, so we use that dog, but we use it as safe as I could. I had this long line to a controlled length, and I already made a prejudgment that that dog wasn't going to launch or anything because I noticed that they seen us. So we used it. And then he was able to make a choice. Now listen. Okay, so he's learning about roads. He's seen that dog, he perked up, and then he backed himself down and came over to me and got a pat on the head. To me, that means he's starting to get it, but that doesn't mean he's done, we need to keep doing it. This is a light, that's a light situation. The dog wasn't barking, the dog wasn't lunging, he was just kind of walking by. What happens when we see a dog who's, you know, talking shit? Because that's what they do sometimes from behind fences or whatnot. All right. Uh, this dog would, kill himself within five minutes of being loose on the streets i guarantee it because he like literally runs straight into oh, yeah, cars no, no. the zigzagging all that but you know he i have him like this intentionally yeah we just need to get over here then it's safe most people walk the dogs like this anyway you know Some cars can probably pick some up here while well, we're safe. Yeah. We'll wrap around to them. Thank <laughs> you.
It's whatever is interesting him at the moment. Okay. You gotta be careful on alleyways like this. You just never know when a cat's just gonna go across or something. dogs are out, things are about to get crazy. Start barking. <laughs> I mean, Floki reacted to it. <laughs> now he's looking. Where are they? Well, what are you barking at, Dad? But anyway, nice. this is really good. Like, you can't walk a dog like this. I'm making it look like you can, <laughs> but he, he would be. There are rules. He's not allowed to pull and things like this, right? But, uh, this is the best for him because this is where he gets to make all the mistakes and get it out of his system and not desire to do them anymore. So then when you go out with him, it's a lot easier. It's a lot, it's a lot more less, le he'll be doing less of this. So and far today, he's charged a man on a lawnmower. He's tried to attack a squirrel. Yeah, and he has a right there. tried to throw himself in front of a car. Come on, come on. Those are all silent clicks. Yes, yeah, and I'm not giving him a command. I'm just giving him kind of an informal nudge, like, let's go, and I can give him clicks on the collar. But look, there's a squirrel right here. Shit. Yeah. I think he got away from us. I love when we, when we can get a squirrel, and, and if, he can if he triggers and chases it, we can just correct and recall. But he's starting to catch himself. Come on. Up here. There's a squirrel. <laughs> he can't help himself. He's redirecting into coming over and sniffing yeah. and stuff, but I mean, he obviously learned from that less than a few minutes, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. Before he went after a squirrel. Because ears went up, he was locking in, and chose himself to disengage. I don't know what he's, he's doing. He's reacting to the cars, that's what I got out of it. Oh. It's just these odd sounds that get him, like any sound like that that he's not aware of, and then also movements. So it's very primitive stuff. He's not thinking much. It's just reactionary, just pure instinct. But he's exploring his little world here, and he's learning what behaviors are successful for him, which ones he values and which ones he doesn't, as far as what the outcome is when he tries them. And so we stack a couple of these walks on top of each other. We got a dog who's let a lot of this, the stuff go, and then we can just tighten up our walk, our heel. And he's also matured because he's kind of been there, done that. He's kind of, you know, got it out of his system. Because right now, he, the way he's sniffing grass is like, you know, it, it, it makes it's like his first time ever smelling it. <laughs> it feels like. So he's got a new place and stuff, but he just doesn't get out. He does, what I'm trying to say is this guy doesn't get out of the house. So when he does, it's a big, it's a big thing for him. Right. Correction for going into the road. Hi, guy. How are you? <laughs> Morning. Good boy. Doesn't know what to do. Good himself. Good boy. I like it. You see he knows what's off limits, but he, he started, he's seen them and he kind of got a little tense and then he loosened up. Self-correcting. Are you seeing it? Yeah. So to me, that's good stuff. That was a small fence for those dogs. Th th that was a small fence for those dogs. But uh, those dogs were perfect. We might be visiting them again. Yeah, it was nice though, wasn't it? It surprised all of us. It got him too. So I'm liking his responses because this is a dog who would go full on explosion. Like he would just take all 120 pounds and just throw it at the other the other dogs. So between the setups that we did at home, all that we did, and then and then the introduction into the 
the real world into town here. He knows, he understands that if he goes after the other dogs, there's going to be a correction. And that's enough to keep him from doing it. And that's rewarding enough to keep him from, from falling for it. So he kind of sees those like a trap now. Like, oh, wait, if I go up on them, then that means I'm, gonna get, I'm not going to fall for it. Right? But we run into all sorts of stuff that I cannot set up on my property, right? Things I don't even expect. People, dogs, squirrels, cats, going up towards it. Because I want his curiosity to be from when we see something new, from a distance. Yeah, he should understand he shouldn't be going up on things. Look where he puts himself. Yeah, that's a very good boy. Heel. I like how he's getting that, his mind ready for the Morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Oh, Go ahead. great. Good boy. Checking his curses. Good boy. He wasn't putting the command and he knows it, but he used it as a coping seal to get through the situation. I just think that's just a great place to start. Is he for Not quite there yet. But he's almost there. We gotta do a little a little more of this stuff. I see somebody walking up over here. Might have a dog. Thanks, everything's his to take care of. All those reactions are correct so the brain stops doing that. Because that's where all the danger is that flip of the switch, we're actually correcting that. It's called state of mind training. We're, we're teaching his, his, when his emotional response and his physiological response, is fe he's feeling that way, like that, it tells him there's a correction coming unless he calms down. So then what he does is he starts self-regulating. He doesn't allow himself to go there, and then we, that's able to change his association, his response to one that is much more calm and domesticated. So we see a person, what do we do? That's good. Okay. So this stuff is before we get on and start tightening up our heel in this environment so that he can learn all the do's and don'ts so that by the time we get to walking him, he's not worried about it anymore. He already, he already has that experience. And we got so many chances to tell him whether or not we like his behavior. Come on. That's a good boy. Those are all clicks, you guys. That's a good boy. I think he's doing pretty darn good, though, actually. Uh-huh. We're going to do a little feeling towards the end of the session. 